All through Stephen's life, um, we always taught him to be well-rounded. And, you know, he had to start from scratch. He didn't have that, that name out there, um, all those credentials like other kids. Uh, he had to prove himself. I've been wrestling for 17 years. I've been training, drilling, and sweating for 17 years. In March, eight men will climb the podium as All-Americans. This is my time. I am Stephen Monk. When we started our family and, and a youth registration came around when the boys were five years old, um, my husband wanted to get involved you know, immediately. I just remember um, just going out to tournaments and competing them and him always being there uh, coaching me. I mean, it was fun uh, growing up, going to all those tournaments, having success and sharing that success with teammates and friends. And uh, I mean, that's, those are the moments I'm always going to remember. Stephen and Connor grew up um, in a military life in Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Um, actually, Stephen was born during Desert Shield storm. Um, never met his father until he was five months old. My whole eighth grade year, he actually was in Iraq, so I wasn't able to see him my whole eighth grade year, so that was a little bit different. But um, yeah, he'll have random times throughout the year where he's just gone for periods of time. So, I mean, it's tough, but um, you just get through it and I mean, hope for the best. I talked to him on the phone. We talked a couple times a week, which is you know another honor as a parent to be able to have that kind of communication. Uh, but he talks, he uh, expresses that you know what he's thinking on his head, and and at the same time I can relate and we share ideas that way. Uh, he's always been the responsible one. You know, he'd come home like during Dave's deployment in 2005 open up his backpack and, you know, Mom, I need you to sign this. And um, he would help his brother get organized. Um, you know, he's, he's strong-headed. When I was younger, I looked up to my dad as a person and I watched the things that he did and uh, saw how he was, was successful with it. And I wanted to kind of be that same person. I wanted to be successful too. So I kind of molded my lifestyle around what he does. And uh, I mean, that's what's help me get to where I am today. Today, unfortunately, is one of the days that uh, probably the last time I get to see Stephen Russell. And being here in Wisconsin, it's really tremendous. Um, I'm getting deployed to the Middle East on um, and, and a little bit more covert type mission. And uh, conducts, the training starts on Monday. This is our third deployment, and um, with communication and technology, it gets a little bit easier every time my husband gets deployed. It probably hasn't hit me to the point to where, to where I can say that um, I'm confident or I know what to expect. It's just one of those things that the emotions at some point will hit me, I'm not sure when. You definitely learn how to deal with it. Um, I, I know for him, he's gonna want me to do the best that I can even when he's not there so I just always try and do that and uh, just work hard so that um, I can do, be the best that I can be. I guess I reflect on you know life and wrestling they're wholesome for our family you know and life and wrestling is a series of moves counter moves reactions opportunities Uh, national championship is the ultimate goal. In the past, Stephen has always worked hard, fought through defeat, fought through whatever it took to achieve it. And no matter what the result, I'm going to be extremely proud of Stephen because he's accomplished so much more than I could ever imagine. And I just want to be there to support him. Hopefully he knows that I'm there. That's the most important thing to me. That'd be the first thought going through my head. I mean, wishing that my dad was there to see this, but um, I, know, I know he's going to want me to do my best out there. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work hard so that I can achieve my ultimate goal. I'll just be sitting back, and I know Stephen will. We'll, we'll just take it one match at a time. And um, I know somewhere his dad will be watching. And, and I'm sure I'll get a text or an email. 
you know, telling Steven what he needs to do. But, you know, to see him wrestle on the big floor and get up on that podium, that will be special. We'll be so proud.